guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. We have a great video to show you guys today, something that I've been meaning to show off for, for quite some time now. But before we get into the matter at hand and the GBA for iOS emulator, if you haven't already, check me out on my different social media. Please give a like, give a follow on my Instagram and on my Twitter. And if you also haven't followed me or subscribed to all things Apple Plus on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for post notifications, and check out my other videos I got going on in the channel. So let's talk about the GBA for iOS emulator and something that I'm going to be bringing uh, to the channel uh, for the next coming days, the next coming weeks. And what I and what I'll have you guys do is navigate over to Tweakbox and install their third-party enterprise application. But what I what the point of this video and what I'm trying to do with these videos are is that I would I'm trying to get every single third-party major application, enterprise application that's out there that has GBA for iOS and show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to download them so that way you can know for a fact how to get these emulators on your device, whether you use Tweetbox, App Valley, Extra iOS, or what have you. But if you navigate, with all that being said, if you navigate over to Tweakbox and you install their application and go under their Tweakbox apps, you'll be able to locate and find the GBA, I, GBA for iOS emulator, the Game Boy Advance emulator, and you can install that and download that into your device for free. No jailbreak needed. This is running iOS 12.1. I'm currently saving my, my firmware for jailbreak purposes later on. But if you get that untrusted enterprise developer notification, please navigate over into settings. I'm gonna back out just a little bit. Go into settings, go under general. From general, scroll all the way down to profiles and device management. From there, locate and find the GBA for iOS emulator application. Make sure you trust it. And then from trust, you can go ahead and launch the application like such. Now for this application, we're gonna be doing a little bit something different. We, I'm gonna show you guys just how to get the an actual, like for example, Pokemon Fire Red. I'm gonna go ahead and download that, that ROM, and then I'm gonna show you the Dropbox sync that, that comes to play, especially when these emulators get revoked. Dropbox Sync is an amazing tool that will allow you to save any sort of saved data and will allow you to resume and pick up back where you left off just in case if these apps get revoked and you don't have any sort of anti-revoke. But if you navigate into the uh, the website, the actual portal for, you know, you know, to search up any ROMs, you might find a GitHub. Make sure you change that through the settings and then you can actually change it to Google like I've done so. And then you can search for your ROM as you will. So I'm gonna look up the, uh, the Pokemon Fire Red ROM and let's go to the first link here. ROMs Mania has actually been a really good site to download any sort of, uh, any sort of GBA ROM and it's just been, it's been useful, been really useful for me really. So once you get to your ROM and you hit that green download button, you should receive a prompt that will ask you if you'd like to save the ROM and rename it to however or what you please. So once you do, it should show up as a zip file. Go ahead and let the, the ROM download and then once the zip or the actual ROM turns to a darker black or the text turns to a darker black, you should be able to go ahead and tap on the actual, uh, on the actual game and it should launch for you. So we're gonna go ahead and launch this. And as you see here, we do have the GBA for iOS and the and Pokemon Fire Red currently running, no problems. Everything runs perfectly through this application. So let me go through the main steps here, and then you can even speed up the animations. So just in case if you're trying to grind or if you're trying to level level jump, this is a great way to to be able to do that. Especially if you want to pass through a whole bunch of you know if there's text or if there's a lot of dialogue, you can do that with the uh, with the speed or with the fast forward button there. So from here, we're going to navigate over back into the menu section. And again, my purpose here for this video, especially for this one, is I want to show you guys the Dropbox sync and how that can work and how it can affect your game, especially if you've saved uh, any sort of save data back to your Dropbox. So make sure that when you do when you do sync or when you are ready to sync your saves to Dropbox, make sure you download the app in the App Store. I'll leave a link in the description below and then go ahead and choose your profile. So I'm gonna choose my, my personal profile here. That's where I keep all my saves. And then you should receive some sort of text or notification asking you to verify your account, especially if you're jumping back into Dropbox. And then go ahead and hit allow and it should prompt you and bring you back to the GBA for iOS emulator. Now, once you're back, you may receive some sort of ad. Just go ahead and clear off and click off from the ad. Now, from this part right here, we need to select the save data that we imported through uh, through 
Dropbox. So go ahead and select your, your sync or select your save and then navigate back into the GBA for iOS emulator. As you can see, I have the one GBA save. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. We're gonna go ahead and import that save in and then we're gonna go ahead and hit done. And then from here, we're gonna restart the game. So like, like before, when I downloaded and installed the actual ROM, I did not have any sort of save. I had no save data. It, it prompted me to immediately go straight to the game. Now, now that I have the actual save, whoops, sorry about that. Now that I actually have the save, we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And then now we have the actual full save on our device. So I have all eight badges, you know, 79 Pokemon. And now we can go ahead and continue our process. And this is a great, way to you know to of course continue your game if you've ever have a situation where the gba for ios is your gba for ios excuse me is revoked and you don't have any sort of anti-revoke uh, procedures or any sort of uh, methods place on your device but i hope you guys did like this video i hope you guys like this little tutorial especially the dropbox things i found it really informative and i wanted to really share that with you guys and and be able to express that and show how it actually works on your guys' i device again if you guys did please like subscribe comment down below if you guys have any sort of issues questions conundrums and i'll be more than happy to address those for you peace Texture, 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 texture,